Tens of thousands marched through London. This, the first large-scale pro-Palestinian demonstration since ugly scenes in the capital on Armistice Day. Leaflets handed out by police warned anyone inciting hatred would be arrested. Along the route, police from forces around the country had been brought in to support the Met. Well, they're doing their job and we're, we're doing our job. It's not a hate march because you can see it's really peaceful. There's nothing's going to happen. Everything's fine. It's peaceful. But away from the main march, a separate, much smaller protest organised by Hizbut Tahrir, the same group that held a demo last month where the word jihad was chanted. There were tears for Palestinian children, but police on alert. Two women were pulled over by officers and asked to translate their banners. The best translation would be, who will roll up the sleeves for heaven? But without an independent interpreter on the ground, police asked the women to wait. This is an example of the difficult balancing act police have, allowing free speech, but not allowing anything that incites hatred or promotes terrorism. After several minutes of confusion, they arrested them. You're under arrest and suspicion for Section 4A religious... Um, section 4A um, aggravated uh, public Sorry, order. How, okay. how can you arrest us for you something you don't know what it means, may harm defense. They were taken to a police station for questioning. Back on the main march, demonstrators said protests will continue until there's a permanent ceasefire, not just a temporary halt to the fighting. It's a pause, it's not a ceasefire. We want Israel to stop bombing Gaza. That's why we're out. We want peace, that's what we're out for. And organisers defended the rights of the protesters. We have very clear laws. Uh, that define what is and what is not acceptable. Uh, the police's job is to implement those laws. Uh, they have been policing these marches. Uh, they have had to arrest a handful of people. We know they're under huge political pressure, including people who are trying to conflate anti-Semitism with legitimate advocacy for Palestinian rights. But those suspected of crossing a line were taken away by officers. <laughs> Proactive policing after criticism by some of too little intervention at previous protests. Occupation and at the end, a small group causing trouble faced a robust response. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Central London.